Hi, my name's Neil, also known as Anything Airbrush on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, today, what we're we painting, uh, I'm going to be painting a portrait. Um, this time it's uh, for charity um, and it's on a piece of 3 mil ply, which is the top of a cigar box guitar, which so uh, it's pretty cool. The person that I'm painting is a, is a guy called Rico Rodriguez. I believe that's how you pronounce his surname. He was a trombonist, if that's the right word, um, for the specials, but also a session musician for various other artists throughout the uh, throughout his career. Um, and so I'm I'm painting that. So I'm going to do it in real time for some of it, not all of it, because this is this is it. As you can see, it's I've penciled in and that, so um, no prep work, just straight on. I know. Right, there we go. Sorry, I seem to have made a bit of a cockle with my uh, my recording. So I'd uh, pressed the button and I thought it was recording, and it clearly wasn't. So, um, as you can see, I've started. It's just the, uh, the smoke black. Um, we're in with a 50 50 ratio through my obviously like I said badger extreme um, and I'm just working working the values and starting to, to work on getting the darker shades in and that so just follow my pencil lines just to get the and not necessarily work on it properly because obviously I'm going to come back to erase the pencil lines anyway. So. But uh, just work in certain areas and just starting to gradually build up your picture and then as you as you build up your picture you can start to go a bit more in depth in detail around the, the detail areas and, uh, and, and, and work work then Um, what I'm uh, see, so yeah, there you go. So, not just, just working it in, trying to gradually build up the depth, which is why that's why I always use smoke black because that way then I don't go in too heavy. And I can I can work the values a, a lot better. So and you now I can go in reasonably dark, and then if I need to uh, pull back a little bit, I can just give it a subtle paint, and uh, and then go back over it and and work on it to get. And then what I once I've sort of established what I'll do is I might put a few drops of black in it, a base black, just to give it that extra um, sharpness. And then if I go over the, the ones that are like argument this shadow here, which is pretty dark. So um I start doing that. I don't know whether this is at all useful for anybody, I hope it is. Um, and that, and anybody that watches what I do, I hope they enjoy. And uh, enjoy what I do. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, if anybody's got any comments or, or wants me to do something that they're, they're struggling with doing or, or anything, then, you know, let me know. I mean, I'm no expert, but I can, uh, I can try and help out as best as I can um, 
in my limited knowledge. But, um, but yeah, you can see what I'm doing, working the values, building it up, um, jumping around all over the place, getting a bit of, a bit of the eyes, nose on, his, on his, his hat. So, you know, just because that's how I work and that way then if I do make a cock up, then, uh, and then it ain't too bad. And it, with going in light, if I do make a cock up, then I can hopefully in turn uh, try to rectify it as 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 I as I do it. So, um, having said that, though, if the material is not always necessarily greatest, um, I did previously paint this already um, on the other side of this board, and subsequently, unfortunately, I didn't take much notice of the grain which had an adverse effect or, or it, it basically created the picture to be pretty pretty useless because it had this massive grain um, or in my opinion anyway so which is there so you've got this great big sort of like tea stain if you wish which is the grain um i didn't really spot it originally so um but obviously it sticks out like a mile so um wasn't happy wasn't happy at all, so hence the reason why we start on that side now. So it is that. I'll, uh, I'll hopefully I'm going to put you on time lapse, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Let's carry on painting. Mm -hmm. 